Here's my Dodge Caravan snowplow with attached caravan. Uh huh. Um, it's obviously just a piece of three quarter inch plywood. I started with a four by eight sheet of plywood. Um, I cut it on the sides to the width of the vehicle. And then, so from the bottom to the top, it's, it's still the four feet it was to begin with. Um, I cut out these notches in the sides. Initially, the reason I cut them out, by the way, is because they damaged. Um, I just had a piece of board that wasn't cut, and it damaged my um, lights on the sides. By cutting these sides out, it doesn't hit those sides. It just comes into the van when it leans forward. <clears throat> um, the 4x4 post at the bottom gives it weight. Without that 4x4 post, before I put that on there, the chains that are on here, um, their mass caused the thing to lean forward. So I would have to get out and prop it back up again to plow. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, these, uh, these boards that are attached here, they're sewn on with 550 cord. I drilled a hole through um, both pieces of wood and then zigzagged through the 550 cord. That's because when I first started plowing with it, I pushed a little too hard and broke that wood. So I did that as a repair. Um, but I like it now because there's a little flex in that board. And the fact that those pieces of wood are held together by that nice... Um, springy 550 cord it's got a little bit of give to it so this can flex a bit without breaking um, and again just to show you the chain attachments pull it back all right so there's all the chains in place connected to the plow and um, here's the mechanics of how it works these chains that are up higher prevent the board when it's pushing snow when there's pressure applied down here at the base those chains prevent the board from going any further and then allow it to act as a plow and then these chains at the bottom are hooked up right down here by my bumper and I've learned to make them kind of loose so that the board always hits the ground and uh, what those chains down there do is um, you see that string there when I pull on this and you'll see there's a little board attached to it I throw that underneath that seat so that it's up where I can reach it when I'm driving and if I yank on that string, that makes this whole plow tilt upwards so that I can make the plow tilt off the ground and I'm not dragging snow with me when I drive forward. And then when I drive backwards, the top chains make sure that I get a plow action going. All right, as far as attachment goes, we're in the back of the minivan. Um, and you have these seat these seat connections where the seat hooks in uh, and what I do is I take this kind of thing the problem is this is too small it doesn't fit over that metal seat thing so what I've got is these metal triangles and what I can do is the triangle hooks onto that metal seat thing and then this hooks onto the triangle so I can hook it in right now there's two different ways you can do it. You can put it through that circle that you see there, but I've found it's easier to just do it this way. And surprisingly, I thought I thought that would vibrate out when using it, but it doesn't vibrate out. It stays pretty stable. And those seat connections are more than strong enough to handle the plow. That's how I hook it up. So uh, how about we see what it looks like in action?
advice for driving. Um, if you decide to do this, of course, do it at your own risk um, and be ready to refine things and maybe do even better than I did. Um, you can see the plow back there. I can pull on this string and that'll move the plow and I can see behind me better then and maybe aim for where I want to be. If you're tall like me, then you can kind of see over the board even um, as you're backing up. You can see my son maybe in the background there. Um, I always make sure that the kids know when I'm plowing and they know not to be in the driveway or near the driveway when I'm plowing. Um, be careful. Do it at your own risk. I've noticed that I've gotten better over time. It's kind of odd to have to back up to plow, but I've gotten better over time at it, and I can clear my driveway in about 10 minutes. Um, and when you're backing up, hand over the back seat like we were all taught, and then uh, get your head to the middle, middle of the vehicle as best you can, because from that middle of the vehicle, you can see what's behind you better, and you get a better feel for which direction you're going. So, again, at your own risk if you try to do it. Um, and if you don't try to do it, I hope you like mine. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching.